Good evening. Today we will look at a study by Betting from the magazine Bohemia from 1906. It won second to fifth prize. White is to move and has to draw. White actually has to fight against the pawns on g2 and h4, but he has only two knights which are unable to prevent both pawns from queening. Let's take a look at a few variations. Knight takes h4, king takes h4, knight f3 check, king g3, knight g1, h5 is not enough because the black pawn on h5 will walk through. The variation knight f3, h3, knight f5 to h4, h2, knight takes g2, h1, queen, also isn't enough. It may follow knight g takes h4, uh, 2h4, sorry, queen f1, king e4, queen f2, king d5, queen e2, king d4, king g4, king d5, h5, king d4, queen takes f3, and when everything is exchanged, the black pawn on h5 will walk through. So, what is the actual solution to this puzzle? Well, you have to think very strange, just like Betting did. And he did it in 1906 with the move King C6. I know you will think I made a mistake here, but uh, let's take a look into the future. Black could play h3, but then knight g3 check, king h4, knight e2, h2, knight f3 check, king h3, knight takes h2 is enough to draw. So he actually has to queen, but then white has the defense knight takes h4 and black has nothing to prevent white from building a fortress by knight h to f3 if he wants to break the fortress he will lose for example queen h1 check knight h to f3 and the black king can't escape of course there is no other way, like uh, king g5 or king takes h4, since knight f3 check will win the queen. So this is the whole solution and while it's very short, it's also very difficult to find.